G'day, my name's Tom, and this is my 2003 Holden Rodeo that we call Joan. In my mind, she's Holden's greatest four-wheel drive to have ever been made, so there we go. How's it going, Tom? Good, mate. Good. Nice to meet you, mate. It's all easy. All right, so we've got a Rodeo. Yes, Holden Rodeo. Now, what year model is it? It's an 03. 03. So, it does the job. How, lo <laughs> how long have you had it? I've had it probably coming on four and a half years now. Oh, yeah. I'd say. Yeah. So, it started from when it had basically a white tray, nothing on it, um, and basically just a two-inch lift on 32s. Nice. So we've kind of built it up to where it is now. Good prime. What sort of ball boat are we looking at? Uh, so it come from a Ironman um, ball bar. Um, basically, first little track we did when we had it, uh, yep. decided to hit a tree in a bog hole. Um, As you do. Crushed the front end and pulled the thing up. Ooh. So basically ripped that off, um, cut the hoops off it and put a new centre section in. So she's got 12 mil plate with a winch. So this is still the Iron Man bull bar. So you've still got the same uh, existing wings off the Iron Man bull bar. Yep. Um, we've just cut the bottoms off it to give us a better approach angle. Yep. Um, change the center section to obviously address the new steady lights that are going in it. Yep. Um, this is 12 mil plate, so hopefully when we hit another tree, it doesn't ever happen. Mm -hmm. um, that also houses the King's winch, um, and then we just made it look angry. With the hoops. With the hoops. It does it does look pretty angry it for does. a <laughs> From the rear view mirror it looks alright. And say. these are steady lights. Yeah. I can tell because it's just yes. out in the open. Are you, you sponsored gotta, by Steady? No, if they want to sponsor if, if they're watching, <laughs> go for gold. <laughs> um so yeah, no, nah, they're prime, they are the probably brightest things ever. So these are steady, steady. Yeah. What's so good about them? Why should I switch from the Adventure Kings? Basically, your yeah, Australian made, better side brackets, yep. and you've got a 2k kilometre radius out of them as well, and they're Beautiful. white as anything. Same, so everything through it is steady, so we've got steady LEDs in the headlights, well, in the headlights, in the fish tanks. Yep. Um, <laughs> have they had water in them? Yeah, they have. <laughs> they're the eBay specials, because obviously um, when the ball bike come up, it, it smacked the... Uh, and crack them so is that what this bit of rust and everything is yeah underneath this little guy here you can actually see where the old antenna bracket hit the um hit the bull bar so yep. that's the, the fun you get out of using your car out on the tracks and good. what's going on here i see two zip uh, ties zip tie nation to hold the uh fully sick front me uh front grill in so yeah it actually broke the brackets on the top because it was always coming off and on so basically, yeah, just sit tight on and forget about it. So. That's the go. That's the go, yeah. <laughs> it's only a grill, you know, it's only well, there for the for Yeah, the it's only the aesthetics of the thing, so yeah. you're not too worried about, about it too much, which is good. Nice. Alright, so, so we'll pop the bonnet and see what's we'll happening under here. Have a squeeze. Alright, pop the bonnet, mate. Let's have a squeeze. Holy. She's not the there's an engine thing. in there. There is an engine in there. And I'm quite happy that there's no LS1. No, no, diesel for life. That's I'd right. Say. <laughs> so, is this this magical 4J that everyone talks about? No, so this is the model before. So, this is a push rod. Um, it's not direct injection. Yep. Like your, or your common rails, I should say. Like your 4J. So, basically, this is a lot more dulled down and simpler version. So yes. And is this still made by a Susan? Yeah, this is a 4J H1. Okay, so, so it is very still, reliable. It is stupid reliable. Yeah, it uh, does it make much power? No. <laughs> <laughs> That's probably the best thing about it, because uh, it's the most reliable thing out of the whole car, mm. but it's also the slowest thing. So, especially with all the weight on the back. Yep. She, uh, but she does the job. Does it do 100 k's now? Yeah, on a downhill flat. <laughs> <laughs> Wind up its ass, bloody oath. Bloody um, oath. What have you done under here? So, we've basically got a high flow turbo running into it. Um, yeah. We've got a high flow air filter. Um, we have replaced the head through it. We've um, fully reconditioned the head, new valves and whatnot. 
Yep. Ported the intake just to try and at least hope to see if we can get something a little bit more out of it. Um, but that's pretty well all it's got. The bottom end's pretty well all untouched. Yep. Um, new radiator, new fan, all that sort of cosmetics that sort of go with it, that sort of break. Yep. Um, so pretty well, yeah. So it does the job. Um, yeah, like I said, it's not the quickest thing in the world. But it obviously does the job. It does the job. You don't need too much it's, power. Uh, and its name is the Joan for a reason, because it sounds <laughs> like a uh, John Deere tractor. <laughs> So, yeah. Well, it is a push rod, so it would rattle a fair yeah. bit, I'd imagine. Bloody oath. Bloody oath. And being a four cylinder, it would rattle anyway. 100%. Yeah. <laughs> 100%. So, yeah. That's good. And yeah. then I see you got a bit of a spaghetti of wires happening here. Yeah, you like can... most four wheel drives. Like most four wheel drives. Yep. Um, they're only put in there not to look good, but to at least do the job. Yeah. So, yeah, you wouldn't believe me that a, uh, an electrician put those in. Are you an electrician? No. I'm a plumber. <laughs> <laughs> so. So you've plumbed the turbo in? I've plumbed the turbo and done everything, but I've just okay. got him to come help me do the wiring. So and that was an electrician or an auto an sparking? That was a, an electrician. That was a backyard job of an electrician. So yeah, doing right. God's work, I'd say. <laughs> <laughs> as long as it's all fused, it should be fine. Oh, 100%. Well, there is 100 fuses here 100 at least. 100 fuses for everything. Though. At least 100. As long as it, you know, you know, it looks good from outside. No, exactly with the bonnet closed. With the bonnet closed, that's all that matters. That's all that matters. As long as there's no fire on the outside yeah. of the engine. No, oh, it's it. Inside is fine. Inside's fine, you know. It'll be due for a new motor soon, so. How many Ks does it have on it? It's got 350. 350. She's, um, I reckon you could, I could probably easily get to probably 600,000. But you don't want to, obviously. I don't want, I want to rip it out next year and basically give it a whole new remap yep. and see if I can actually push some decent power out of them. So yep. there's one going at the moment that is an actual drag car, little two-wheel drive Isuzu single cab thing that's doing, I think he's doing 13 seconds down a quarter mile in this yeah, same right. motor. We'll see how we go. I don't expect to do 13 nah. seconds down the quarter mile. But you don't need to, mate. She's as long rig. as I can get to the camping ground, I'm, uh, I'm set. <laughs> All right. yeah. We'll keep moving along. So easy. All right, now we're at the side. Uh, tell us a bit about underneath. Uh, pretty well. She's got. She's sitting on uh, 33 by 12 and a half, so a 15 inch rim. Yep. Um, she's got basically a four inch suspension, so two inch body, two inch um, basically at the front end. Well, we used to be two inch at the rear, but so tell me a little bit about what's happening at the back. So here. Um, basically, Easter. Uh, weekend went to Jadoan, um and she had a locating spring off one of the leaf springs. Yeah, so is that the fixed pin? Or the, uh, basically the, coming up. Under the diff. Yeah, so yeah. we were crab walking for quite a while there. Um, so you had you had rear steer? We had rear steer. We looked, we were looking like a monster truck coming down the highway, so it was a pretty funny thing to see. Yep. Um, but basically, yeah, got new leaf springs, um, put them in, dropped the car, and realised that they're actually standard height. So, and not two inch. Not two inch. So they're the 200 constant loads, but I'm actually kind of happy in a way that it is that way because I'm actually going to see if I can get a bit bit more flex out of the rear with some extended shackles and possibly try and add and subtract some some leaf packs. So yeah, yeah. We'll have a bit of a, of an experiment with it and see how far we can get. But it, it does look super low. How much did it did it squat down after you lowered it down? Ooh, it would have been a good two. Probably one inch, one and a half inches. Oh, that's not much. So, but we did measure it, so it's only a 10 mil difference from the front to the rear. Maybe it's your... I think it's the weight and everything that's on the... But maybe it's the tray. It could or be maybe the, the Rodeos have some big super yeah, front it doesn't, arch or something. It doesn't help with these massive guards. Yeah. So, I don't know, it's just one of those things that is... We'll just we'll just play with an experiment and see if we can. We'll always get it back right, but I'm just gonna have a play with it now that we've sort of walked ourselves into it. Yeah. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see how we go with it, I guess. Too uh too too financially into it to come back from it now. Yeah, I know it's a big financial mistake as it is. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, no, it's um pretty well. Yeah, it's got rear locked diff at the rear. Yep. Um, what you need. Soon to be twin locked. Um, just waiting on the old finances to come through. Um. Are the CVs going to hold apart? Because you said this morning one yeah, of them is ticking. We've got one. We've basically got the eBay CVs going through them because genuine is too expensive. Yep. Um, so, yeah, pretty well one's already on its way, um, about to explode. Um, and is that because I don't run IFS? Or nah. I've got 
big it's boy a, toys over here. Yeah. So <laughs> IFS, when the boot splits and water gets in there, is it like instantly rust like bare metal oh, would? Usually you can get away with it. Well, that boots is, that boot's been off just before Easter, so Easter weekend pretty well killed so it for me. So fair, fair, fair time with that fair boot split. Fair old time on it. Um, having 33s on a tiny little CV doesn't help as well. Yep. So, um, yeah. It's just a plain game, so the old end result for this thing is to have the front ripped out and have some coilovers go in the front of it. Oh, so you're going to do a, a sold axle so, swap? So, pretty well it's on the cards very soon. Um, yeah, so... Would you, would you do the rear? Depending on how it all goes, um, I was. It's kind of if I'm if I'm gonna do it, I'm kind of gonna do it, or I'm gonna go all out, yeah, not yeah. after it. So. So you plan on keeping this car? Pretty well. Forever. We're just gonna try and turn it into a bit of a machine. Sweet. Say, That's what I'd like to hear. We'll yeah. like, we'll definitely have you back when it's yeah. <laughs> if you end up doing the full conversion oh, and all that. It'll happen. The, the bloody yeah, uh, the wheels are slowly turning, so it'll be. <laughs> it, it's, it's definitely on the cards. It's yeah. just no dates being put on it at the moment. So yeah, yeah. See how we go. See who we can find who actually who wants to touch this thing. So, yeah. Probably not many. Probably not many. So we'll see how we go. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, All right. Well, uh, we'll head around to the back. So easy. Now we're at the obviously the back of the car. Yeah. And uh, standard tray. So I'm I'm assuming it's actually like you know, this is the only tray that I've seen it with on that well that's come on the car. Yeah. Um, I think it's just a triple M tray that I basically stripped down and painted black and uh, grey. It um, does It does look different with that painted black, because you normally see them with that all chrome. Yeah, yeah, it's a full steel tray, so um, it is. it looked absolutely hideous when I first had it, so a bit of Raptor coat and she came up a million bucks, but yep. obviously it's due for it now. Um, oh, another coat? Yeah, probably a new coat, or probably just scrap the whole thing and sell it, and start <laughs> again. <laughs> um, new flares, basically, um, superior mud flaps all through. Yep. Um, it's got two inch uh, body, space, body spaces Onto around the, the whole thing to lift yeah, that yeah. up to give us a bit more um, articulation upwards for the wheels. Does it, does it, oh, you probably haven't tested it, but does it scrub? It does scrub now with those leaf springs in. Yeah, yeah. 100%. Yeah. <laughs> 100%. So they do flex? Um, a little bit. For what they can do, I've seen a few of them, they do get a bit of flex out of them. Yeah. It's just like anyone really. All the patrol guys know how to make coils flex, but no one really has played with leafs enough to try and figure out what the best thing to do is. So it's all pretty well a guessing game now. So, yep. a bit of fun, but yeah. And then you've got a couple of high downs. Basically, that, yeah. Is that for anything in particular? We've got a full, um, I think it's a 1200 uh, Waco Esky yep. that sits this way um, for all the beers and whatnot. Basically, up the middle when the uh, rooftop's not on, we've also got those two um, pieces there for the actual straps to go around so we can put tables and swags and stuff up the guts. So, so this does get fully loaded. This does, yeah. Um, pretty well. When it, we went to Fraser in it, and uh, yeah, she looked like a bloody machine, just fully loaded and stuff. So. At least that way it looks a little bit nicer, so you're not seeing ratchet straps and stuff over the yeah. car, and it just looks like everything's just thrown in, so at least it looks a little bit nicer. You, bit you've put placed. some thought into it, obviously. Yeah, 100%. So just take the time and figure out what the best way for it is. And it, and it works out mint, because once your esky's on, yep. um, you don't actually have to undo any straps or whatever to get the beers out. You can just flick it open, and knowing full well that the straps are holding it from the, from the sides. Yeah, yeah. So it actually, yeah. It works really well, so it is a mint touring rig, it is, so and can't forget the old uh, bottle opener as well. Bottle opener? So. What's that, J-Max? J-Max. So. You've got a few different brands going yes. on here, mate. <laughs> J-Max, you got Snatch, yeah. Full Drive 24-7. There's a few going on. Then you got the Explore Life Explore shirt on. Explore Life shirt, can't forget. <laughs> Especially Kings and whatnot, so. Oh, you got things here. So you got some little lights here. Side lights. On their own switch? Yeah, so they're on their own. They're not independently switched. Basically, one switch will do the both. Yeah. Um, but then they're not off your headlights. No. Well, that's better than mine. Yeah. So. Headlights. And then basically we've got four um, underbody lights as well. That's just the same as these. Yeah, yeah. So because I think those little steady rock lights are a little bit blasé for my likings. So at least, at least once the once the roof tops off, which becomes becomes a bit of a track weapon. Yeah. Nighttime four wheel driving is actually prime, so you can actually see what you're doing. And, Especially with the tent, once that's up, you can't really see out of it in the dark. Yeah. So, yeah, just making things a bit more accessible. 
accessible. So I'm a bit scared of the dark. And then you've got like a quarter canopy. Yeah, like so it's an 800, I think. Yeah. Um, run it into it. We'll open it up and pop it up. We'll see the mess that's inside. But Oh, yeah, she's full of shit. Full of shit. Basically, we've got the old Titan fridge slide. Um, basically, yeah, max track. Everything's just thrown in there because um, it was just a mad dash to get the leaf springs in. Yeah, yeah, fair enough. Um, that's all good. But pretty well, yeah. All it's got is just a nice, simple 12-volt. Um, battery box yep. that just houses everything for the lights um the eco x gear speaker does that run the uh, is there a fridge for that fridge slot yep, yep there is there is a fridge that sits on here and um, that comes out plus we've got the old sticker collection of everywhere we've been and i see you already running into some modifications yeah. interaction so that's all right once that comes out though it doesn't hit. it doesn't interfere so you can actually open up the whole way so well i'll give you a pass on that one because if that was any higher there could be an issue with Mac is drive throughs and percent. well she's not a drive through ornament at the moment because the old rooftop sticks <laughs> sticks up a fair bit. You should be able to fit through a drive through mate. I fit the, that through KFC. Yeah mate. I'll I'll I just squished that <laughs> but you don't worry about that swinging one. Oh we'll give it just a go on the way knock home. Knock that yeah. out of the way and you got this go. Oh bloody hell. Yeah. So Oh and then you got a speaker on the back. We got the speaker for the old Bushdorfs. Yeah. Um basically uh, are you are you the Bushdorf DJ? I am now. Yep. Basically, when they when we pull up the camp, there are a few other campers that soon leave. So, <laughs> oh, that's good. actually a good idea. It is a prime you idea. You clear the place out, then you got it all to yourself. Hundred percent. It is great, especially for a little speaker like that. I was sort of bored, having intentions of going. Well, this could actually could be a waste of money. The missus was going, "You don't need that." Where I'm going, this will be fucking sick. So, basically, yeah, slap it on, and for what it is, I highly recommend them. They're actually really good for what they are. And, and it just runs off a, uh, looks like a light bar mount and everything. Pretty well, yeah. I just made a um, made a little mount just to bring it out a little bit more. Um, and it's got all its own brackets and whatnot that go to it. So um, the actual, we did have a bit of a test on it. The actual distance for Bluetooth, because I know the issue that we had, like we'd go up to the VI and stuff, and yep. you'd have your speakers running and you'd run off to the car or something. And whoever's listening to the music, it'll be going, bring your phone back, because it's cutting out. <laughs> Where that, I can go for probably a K, I reckon, and that's being generous, and it just will not cut out. Mm. So, the coverage on it is just phenomenal. I do it see is. you've done superior the dirty. Obviously, they've they've uh, annoyed yeah, they've, you with the with the leaves, so you've just covered up their beautiful sticker. Basically, we've got a um, we've got a black and white one now that we've got from them, <laughs> so we'll, we'll find somewhere to put that. But we're running out of room. For Obviously, stickers. not behind the speaker. No, hundred <laughs> percent. So that was an afterthought. That was. I couldn't be bothered ripping it off. So they don't come off. Trust me. No, <laughs> that's why I had a bit of a pick. And oh, yeah, no, yeah, they don't. They're they're, they're, they're they're a permanent fixture. Yeah, they They're are. part of the body work. They are. We're soon to probably pull these off and stuff and make it just look clean again, but I'm, I'm kind of scared to start pulling old stickers off, but... I think the only sticker you need, mate, is a big Knott's Dock sticker across yeah. the <laughs> Oh, the old window banner will be good. Yeah. <laughs> Bloody hell. We'll, we'll, we'll sort you out with one of those. That'll be prime. Alright, we'll, uh, we'll pop the tent up we'll pop. and you show us the inside of the big Camp King, eh? Camp King. <laughs> inside the Camp King so right now the new addition for it is a 100 uh, mil self-inflating mattress um, as well as a 75 mil mattress that they come with so usually with rooftops and we've found now that we've stayed in it a few times um, they are quite uncomfortable when you first get them because you're basically not sleeping on the grass like a swag you're basically sleeping on metal um, so this is actually boarded up quite a good height at least to sleep on you're not actually feeling the bottom um, as well being a camp king um it's basically got all insulation all the way around so it's got carpet top and bottom um it's actually got some proper bloody canvas on it as well that sort of won't tear as you're zipping it up or moving it around and stuff um you've got basically all 12 volt coming up in here so you've got a cigarette lighter um which i don't really understand why you'd put one in <laughs> um and it's got two usbs and also a light at the top there so you can sort of pretty well see what you're doing at night time as well um the missus can nearly stand up um pretty well up top in here 
so it kind of helps out for her um, getting changed and stuff because it was a bit hard during a swag and stuff so just makes camping a lot easier and you kind of join the penthouse life as soon as you get a rooftop so I think yeah once you sort of get a rooftop you don't really look back to getting a getting back in a swag it's kind of hard <laughs> I guess um, but yeah we love it just for the simpleness of coming pulling up to camp just flicking two latches and basically yeah your, your camp's half set up pretty well all you got to do is go to the fridge and grab a beer all right in the big red day here it's Welcome. pretty comfortable it's not bad for a single cab is this standard seats standard seats very nice they come bench they come bench seat um in this model but obviously um the bloke before me just ripped them out and yep. just put two singles which actually works pretty well <laughs> it's not bad for what it is and yeah you, manual manual uh, the, the weird push button yeah the stuff. very yeah, we've had a lot of issues with those. Trying to, the yep. solenoid up the front gets stuck when you go through water. Um, That's handy. Manually kept it on, so the only thing that turns it on to true four-wheel drive is the actual uh, solenoid on the back of the transfer. So yep. Addressed all those issues, which is prime. But yeah, it's pretty simple in here. There's actually not much. Then that's that's fine. Yeah. You've got uh, the XRS, do you mean? XRS Connect, yep. which is prime. You um, like it? You rate it? I rate it. I reckon it's prime. I like, the, I like the uni den, but yeah. that's fair enough. We'll agree Each to their disagree. Own. That's right. <laughs> you um, can join the big washed up YouTuber club and have the GME. That's all right. Sponsors. <laughs> you, might, you must be sponsored by them too, mate. Oh, surely. <laughs> You've got all the sponsors. I know. Everything. Um, but yeah, we've got a rear locker. Yep. Um, E-locker, that is. And then just obviously your basic switches. We've got um, the water tent sitting there. Uh, the old Kings. Yep. Um, heads up display. Um, and then yeah, just a couple of switches for all the various lights and whatnot sitting around the car. And you got the rubbish shed life sticker. Yeah, the rubbish shed life sh sticker goes alright. <laughs> I'll make sure you be peeling that off when we get not stock, mate. <laughs> but because it doesn't live in the shed, clearly you're out using no, it. No, she's out using it. That's um, right. Yeah, so yeah, it's good. And did the old uh, rear window, uh, rear mirror delete. Did it delete itself? It deleted it itself as soon yeah. as the um, as soon as the canopy went on because there's no point seeing it at the back because you can't really see much. Yeah. Um, and then obviously, yeah, just the uh, bloody Santa console fridge from Gat. Uh, what is it? Brass Monkey. Oh yeah, Brass Monkey. Brunk, brass Monkey. So this seems to be what everyone's got because the last car we did, yeah. Jess's car, it had this. No, they're prime, I reckon, because you got your, you know, obviously, you, you know, your wireless phone charge, and plus when you're on the tracks, no one really wants to get out and go to the fridge, so you just stock up here and uh, get blind. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty well. And then at the back here, is that a fridge monitor as That's, well? Yeah, just a fridge monitor. Um, I think she's dead now, um, but that was. We had that for Fraser, so at least we could check what the fridge is on. Um, but I think she is due for a new one. Adventure um, King's problems. Yeah, exactly. They don't last long, but she did the job while we were on the trip. Yep. Um, but besides that, yeah, it's. You got the 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 windshield. You got windshields. They're a new addition. At least you can with no aircon. You can actually. You have no aircon. No aircon as it is right now. Oh. So I'm already uh, sweating in here and we don't even, <laughs> we're not even on the road. I know, once she's moving it's alright. Is that why you've got the fridge for all the beers? Basically, so you... you can open that up and that's sort of your free air con, so you can pump that through the car if you want. <laughs> and pump beers too pump and then you won't, don't worry about it. Pretty well. Um, she does have a heater, so that is one good thing. Yep. Um, wind down windows too, wind hov down pack. Windows. Hov pack central. Which I don't think that's a bad idea because if you get water in the car, exactly, there's no electronics to go wrong. And vinyl floors, and you don't have to deal with carpet and all that that's sort of right. stuff. So, yeah, it is actually. I don't know what I don't know. All those people saying bad things about Rodeo, I don't think it's uh, warranted here. No, it's pretty good, you know. <laughs> They're just a car that you know. Your voice got a little bit high pitched then. I oh, know. <laughs> it's all right. <laughs> so, but yeah, no, they're actually they're, for what they are. They're actually a decent car. All right, sweet. Yeah. That's it. All right. Uh, it's been good checking out your your rig, mate. That's so easy. Um, it's been prime. I'm being real lazy today. You can uh, send us away. Well, pretty well. Don't subscribe. And don't buy the merch. And uh, stay out of yourselves.
Holy fuck. <laughs> Picks up some speed there, gonna clean the can again. <laughs> wow, yeah.